Good afternoon. It is the last day. It's Friday uh, on the last day of our delegation. Our medical staff is still in the clinic. And we talked about it last night and decided as a group that we wanted to share our thoughts, our experiences, any insights via video this year. In the past, we've come home and done a medical panel for the church. But everything's so fresh in our mind right now, so we wanted to share it with you while we still recalled it so clearly. And um, so thank you for your prayers. We've had a wonderful week, and we felt them all. So hope you enjoy it. God bless. We're hanging out here at Madre, Maria Madre de los Pobres in San Salvador, El Salvador. We've been here for the past week. We've met some incredible people. Um, I told several people that when we made our trips to the people's houses and visited some people in some very difficult situations that it was like you were walking with living saints. The priest here, Father L Luis, and the white angels, uh, the ladies of the parish who make the visits are truly inspiring. Uh, they are completely committed and completely connected to the community. It's the best thing I think that I saw. But being in the clinic was good too. We enjoyed it, made some nice connections. But seeing people where they were, I think, was really important. And for people that are have such a history of oppression, to see them happy and always smiling and very, very friendly was really a revelation and a lesson to all of us. Hi, this is Jan Thackery. I'm here at Madre uh, with a medical delegation. I'm a nurse and there's so many meaningful experiences I've had this week, and this is my fourth visit here. But the most, probably the most meaningful for me was when we had a woman come in who had been diagnosed with breast cancer, stage three, about a month ago. And it took us a while to get to that point. She came in complaining of a headache, which is common. Um, and once she shared that and we started talking about support at home, our interpreter actually just lost his mom to cancer a month ago. She was a teacher at the CAPI. So it was a pretty emotional moment for everybody that was there. I just feel every time I leave here, I can't wait to come back because I feel like our brothers and sisters really appreciate so much. I mean, I can't tell you all the things, wonderful things people say to us while we're here, but they really appreciate us coming and, and walking the walk with them. Uh, and they walk our walk with us as well. And I always learn something new every time I come from them. Hi, I'm Lauren Freshen. I'm a nurse. And some of the things that I've thought about during this trip to El Salvador have been how I've prayed for Santa Maria Madre de los Pobres basically my entire life and I've always wanted to come on the medical delegation and I just feel extremely humbled and thankful that I've been able to have that dream become a reality this year. Um, it, it just seems very obvious that um, everyone here is extremely happy even though they may be poor, they're definitely rich in spirit. Um, and then another takeaway is that, you know, they said to us um, before coming here, we're, you know, if you get stopped or whatever, and they ask you, are you, like, why are you visiting? We're just saying, oh, we're visiting our friends. And I just, I didn't understand until I came here. And it is amazing how welcoming not just the parishes and the staff, but anyone who lets us into their house, they pull out these plastic chairs and they have you sit down and welcome you. So it's been a pleasure getting to know the staff and seeing how they live the gospel all day, every day. Thanks. Hi everyone, my name's Janie Palmer and this year I had the opportunity to come back on our trip to El Salvador and our sister parish and I was able to spend some time at the Cappy School. And one of the things I learned was that years ago, the school was not one that people chose because of gangs, and the school also would take in children with behavior problems, but that has all changed. Now Cappy is 
considered a very good school. They have awesome teachers. Their programs are wonderful. And to quote Wendy, the teachers at Cappy not only teach for knowledge, but they teach for life. Hello, I'm Becky White, and I'm talking to you here from El Salvador. And I want to tell you something that I re will remember from this trip forever. And that is the magic kitchen of Estella. She is our cook, and she makes wonderful meals for us three times a day with a tiny sink and four feet of countertop space. And I think that's an absolute miracle. And she's just the most beautiful person in the world. And I'll never forget that. And I also will remember the children here because they love to hug me. And I really like that. Okay, I am Beth Valde Paris. Um, and I'm one of the nurses that joined the medical delegation this year. And I was asked to tell you what my takeaway has been. Um, so from a nursing perspective, you know, I've come in with my set of skills and my knowledge and thinking that I was going to help the clinic and make a difference, which we do. It's what we do. We come in and we do everything that we can to help the clinic, which it really is run like a fine tooth comb. It is just very precise in how they do everything with the amount of staff that they have. Um, so the help is always needed. It's it's clear that they enjoy the, the many hands to make the work happen. Um, I was surprised by the lack of resources that they have compared to what I do in, at um, in, you know Kansas City with my nursing. You know the the amount of supplies that they can use, the amount of medications that they have available are very very limited. Um, but my takeaway, if you ask me what my takeaway would be, it would be the hundreds of faces that have come through the door. Um, I really try to be present in the moment. It would be the hospitality that was provided. The staff will bring the doctors and the nurses uh, food in the middle of the workday just to keep our energy going. It was going into people's homes and them as small as the homes are and as cluttered as they might be in with you know, very little that they have, bring out every chair possible to sit us down and, and have a conversation together. It was the smiles, it was the laughter from the children at the school that was nearby, it was the drums that were beating, it was the parade that we walked to get to the church on Sunday in reverence of our Lord. Um, it was all of it. It really had nothing to do, truly, the takeaway has nothing to do with the medical delegation um, because we're taking away a whole lot more than what we were able to give them. Hi, my name's Keith Gard. I'm down here on the medical mission and I love it. I came down here the last time 14 years ago and took almost 2,000 photographs of smiling kids. I didn't quite get that many this year, but close to it. It's so nice to see the hope and joy in their souls and in their eyes. As a matter of fact, some of the kids later in the week after I photographed them came up and gave me hugs and that just made me feel like a piece of God was coming out of them. I recommend it to anyone who would like to come down here. And I appreciate, we all appreciate the support we're getting from Visitation. Thank you. Hello, I'm Tony Albrock. Welcome to El Salvador, San Salvador, our home for the last week, period. <laughs> period. <laughs> Welcome to El Salvador, San Salvador, the capital where we've been hanging out over the past week, period. <laughs> oh, God, I can't stop.